Hey guys, congratulations to everyone that took part in our five day challenge. Um, 17 of you actually ended up taking part and that is the most that we've ever had in the five day challenges. So well done. And I know that some of you were concerned because you felt you were a bit rusty, but even if you were a little bit concerned or didn't have the same level of confidence, the fact is that you took part and you made an effort and that's what's important. Now we can build on your confidence and your skill set and your knowledge and your workflow because every single time you practice, you will get better. Um, let's just do a little bit of a shout out. Azza for her design, Laura for color and pattern, Mercy for her accessories, Patricia for her soothing palette, Richard for his wallpaper, and Robin for her rendering. And you know me, guys. I give constructive feedback. I tell you things that are great about your elevations, and I also give you areas of constructive feedback so that you can make improvements and enhancements because that's what it's all about, okay? So some things to take away from this five-day challenge. Let me just refer to my notes. Um, image size. A lot of you guys are exporting the elevation um, and not exporting it at a, a good enough large size. You have to export it at a decent size because when you um, bring it into Photoshop so that you can do your rendering, you're actually cropping it and that is going to have an impact on the clarity. So you need to compensate for that by making sure that from the get-go, it is a decent size. So that's really important. And it's very important, obviously, to have a large image size so that your client can see all your hard work um, a lot more clearly and that your target audience can see it clearly if you're going to publish it on social media, on your website, that kind of thing. And it also looks more professional. So... Um, number two, keep an eye on scale, um, that, whether that's objects or textures, and that kind of makes a difference between a professional elevation and one that looks a little bit more amateurish, okay? Um, another thing that's really important is using good quality textures, especially seamless textures. Again, that makes the difference between amateurish and professional and I noticed that a lot of you guys are like tiptoeing around your shadows um, and your highlights. It's like you're afraid to apply those. Um, you are able to create more presence and more drama when you apply the proper level of shadows. So don't be afraid of going over a couple of times or um, upping the opacity setting. But that brings me on to another really important point, which is you need to adjust your opacity settings depending on the color. So if you have a gray wall and you have set your shadow um, RGB at 40, 40, 40, which is what I recommend, and you have base units that are really dark, then when you get down to the base unit, you need to adjust your opacity setting and your RGB setting. You guys are using the same settings no matter what the color. When you're using shadows on a dark color, you need to adjust the RGB and the opacity. There's no getting away from that. What I also noticed was a lot of you guys, when you were applying highlighter onto the base units, you were um, applying it in like strokes, individual strokes, and it just didn't look very natural. So I would recommend fluid movements without actually doing strokes. And just keep an eye on the direction of your shadows as well. Um, so that it looks realistic and consistent. And all of those things together um, helps to create an overall elevation that's very polished and professional. And that's it. Thank you so much for everyone who took part. And as a little uh, reward for everyone who took part, 
um, you're all going to get a little 3D model and I'm going to show that to you now. And here is the 3D model that you guys are going to be rewarded with as a result of taking part in our first five day challenge of 2020. This is a convex round mirror. And if I just zoom in and show you just right here, you can see the convex shape of that mirror. And it also has a lovely beveled edge and ornate detail right here and then a brass material on the inner edge there. So that is now available on the SketchUp Hub 3D model shop and I will provide you guys with the discount code if you send me an email or a DM in the Facebook group and I will as I said, provide you with a discount code and you will be able to download that for free. And obviously you can include this in your elevations or 3D scenes if you have advanced to that stage. And I would love it guys if after you download it that you leave a review. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do that. So if you just, you just go into the 3D model shop and here is the round convex mirror you scroll down and then you go to reviews obviously you have to be logged in to leave a review but it's so important to the SketchUp hub it's important so that we can provide reassurance to potential customers and that also gives us a little bit of validity so I would really appreciate it if you could leave a review and say a couple of nice words about this 3d model or any other 3D models that you have either purchased or have been uh, awarded via the SketchUp Hub. Thank you.